brasileiro. Ah, Vamos dar então um abraço brasileiro. Ah, Agora... <risos> e sorriso de brasileiro, sorriso de brasileiro. Isso é isso. Isso, isso mesmo. Calma um pouquinho. Esse é o táxi que vai nos levar até o carnaval do Rio de Janeiro. Mas lá o
O que vocês estão fazendo aqui?
Ja, das zwei fest da. We came to see the England match. Mm. Yeah. We've Before been to I... Inner Team. We went to Inner Team mm. yesterday. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Escape, escape football. Uh, we've been here for uh, nearly three months. Three months. Oh. Yeah. Have you been on carnival? No, no, no not yet. No, not yet. Except in the taxi. <laughs> 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 and wh how was this small experience of carnival in the taxi? Oh, excellent. excellent. Very, yeah, crazy. quite accurate as well. <laughs> well, oh, so how do you know? Well, they're being in a huge crowd of people. Often I'm. I wonder why in carnivals in Brazil, why everyone drives. You know, you have these um, carnivals that are very car centric. And across all of America, people love the Americas, Latin America. Everyone loves cars. They, and the idea of taking a car into a carnival would seem crazy to, to us, but it's exactly what some people do. They just drive into it. And then they sit in their car. Sometimes people in cars surrounded by thousands of people. Yeah, trying to drive trying through to go forward. huge crowds. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the experience was quite similar. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. But we, 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 we've lived in Bristol in the UK for 10 years. And, um, oh, it's a very big carnival, very, very similar. Ah, it's not as big as Brazil, but it's very big. Huge street parade and then a big party for maybe a day or two. It's not a whole week or a month. But it's, uh, it's still very, good. It's very similar to that experience. You have, um, it's quite funny. You have uh, all the people wildly dancing, and then some children in the middle. Yes. Looking <laughs> bored. <laughs> yeah. In some ways, yes. Yeah, Maybe escape. escape rather. And a summer party, summertime party. So carnival is uh, next weekend in Britain. Yeah, it's, it's sort of more escape. More. Beginning of July. Well, it's very difficult to take a police person seriously when they've got really good eyeshadow <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of lipstick. But the, but it, it's the thing about it, a lot of it's for show. So in Sao Paulo, you have maybe a thousand sort of uh, literally hundred hundred policemen together doing nothing just to show that they're there. And in Rio, we, we there was some very tough-looking policemen, and then one we were talking to were just, just being sick. They've been drinking and they weren't really police, they were just sort of there to look tough. But I don't, I don't know, I, I haven't seen the impact. Yes, well, it's, it's, they the, do. It's, the, it's, the, it's the fact that, that, that um, okay, they're against crime, but they're more than crime, they're against dissension. They're against people. If people react to the state or anything like that, that's when they, in Britain, obviously they're, they're, they fight crime, but what they guards. really don't like is they really don't like people disagreeing. With so that's the big one. Yeah. They're turning into sort of publicly funded bodyguards for yeah. large companies. Yeah. Which is true. not really what the police should be. And that's the same with, with Sao Paulo. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> one thing I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, one thing is the, the, the Brazilian people try to make you as scared as possible. About coming, they say it's incredibly Especially dangerous. Especially in South Paulo. So I remember, yeah, in in. They love telling Rio. you how dangerous it is. Yeah. But Brazilians are really friendly. Yeah. Everyone I met is really lovely, like really nice, friendly. So there's this sort of thing that they, that's that's. But the, then they'll all tell you that the other Brazilians are going to try and rob you. <laughs> it's like, don't you can trust me, but don't trust him. It's yeah, like, that's that's. Why? A that's a big one. So it meant the first few weeks we anywhere. were. I was like this, sort of like. Really and scared, I was, but now it's I was doing what you know, like um, evasion tactics. So I was sort of playing mind games, sort of avoiding. Is that, is that person following me? Maybe he's following me. Okay, I'll, I'll skip down this road. Now, um, now I'm almost the other way. So now is probably the worst time to do it for security. But the problem is, yeah, it's a bit of a security state. You you know the that if they spent all the money on security on social welfare, they would. I mean, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no communist, or you know, but it's like if they spend that money on on better, better things for people, then they wouldn't need to employ them. The things so that's so as a security state, that's something you're very aware. Uh, of. We haven't really seen much. Um, we live in Sao Paulo, so we were both uh, stuck during the strikes. 
the transportation hmm. strikes. But I didn't really see any, not not in person on the TV, obviously. But it's just, it's I couldn't too, go anywhere, too, so I was. It's too big a city. Too I think there's, you do. It's this thing about like sort of. Um, it's a very strange situation where I would say, I, I, I in my mind, I, I understand and support some of the strikes, but but because of who I am and my situation and what I do, I can't be part of it. So you know because. You like say if you go into some of the into the centre of Sao Paulo, some of the sort of um, squatted and liberated sort of buildings and stuff. And I've seen I've seen Europeans that are able to do that and cross over into that. But there's, um, for example, I've sort of been wondering about how we could, you know, because in a way we have sort of access to sort of the bankers, the powerful people that that probably need to hear about it. There's this weird thing which is that if we protested. Mm. Sort of, t we mm. we both teach sort of, you know, like mm -hmm. governors and CEOs and stuff like that, and stockbrokers. If we protested to them, they might hear it. Unfortunately, they don't hear a lot of the things that are yeah. on the other side. It's it's a very weird it's country. It's just inconvenient. But I'll be honest and say I'd I'd I'd, I'd like to know where there was protests and things, but I I, can't, I don't even exist in the same the, world as that. The big yeah, the big problem is the language. Yeah. I know some, but not much. Well, we're trying, but we will probably get to go to different tribes for too long. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, we, we are living in Sao Paulo, so it's big and busy and hectic. But it's quite, quite like it. Um, we, yeah, we like Belo Horizonte. We had them. Um, we had a. Uh, we we, we do, do something called Couch Yeah, we like Belo Horizonte. We had them. Um, we had a, we, we, we do something called couch surfing. During the World Cup is, we're unbelievably lucky to, 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 to stay for free. We, he, he's um, a bit of a boy racer. Do you know, like, he has well, a car and he drives very fast. Uh, but it was very nice. We, yeah, he gave us big tours and we saw the whole city and really, uh, really great. And he took us to Ordo and to all the different... Jess? I'm, I'm Neil. Neil. English, but we haven't got English. Um, make, make theater, make, Please don't include that bit. We're making some theatre. <laughs> we're making some theatre. I was really interested in what um, what it meant by an installation performance because of the fact that. Um, so you were saying, you were saying like, oh, they, it can't be live. It couldn't be live. Because how could we have people for, for a whole a month. month? Yeah. But, um, I like the fact you get a little, you get two or three. Uh, um, I, I hope people in Berlin Horizonte can sort of come and come back and come and keep yeah. seeing new stuff. They have different, they have different performers, different days. It's really good, and um, I mean that's, yeah, in terms, of, you know, you, at the beginning someone said it's immersive, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's immersive like a K hole. That last one, <laughs> <laughs> it's like taking ketamine or something, isn't it? Like, sort of, and I really like the, I really like the idea of asking people questions all the time and, and yeah. a range of different questions because that's quite a nice way to sort of um, it, it's participatory it is participatory but it's um, it's getting the brain to join in you know mm. getting to think about it yeah. so both of those performances managed, managed to capture that idea of like some question you know you sort of taking questions and them, so. Adorável, cara, tinha dois ingleses muito loucos aqui, a gente ficou fazendo performance do táxi com eles. Relação da Agência Humboldt com o táxi do carnaval. Para entrar no táxi do carnaval eu gosto de uma energia mais pra cima, solta o braço, solta, descruza. Coisa mais brasileira, mais alegre, mais harmoniosa, mais calorosa. Aí eu queria pedir pra vocês, queria pedir pra vocês um abraço pra entrar juntos. Essa coisa do brasileiro de abraçar, de ser bem... Eu sou brasileiro! Só mais um. Um, dois e... Eu sou brasileiro! Porra! Bem-vindo.